Now, the Rice Processors Association of Nigeria, Repen, has called on the president elect Bola Tinubu to prioritize a firmer border control to curtail rice smuggling into the country as soon as he's inaugurated next month. Addressing the media in Abuja, the director general of Repan, Andy Ikwelem, said that there has been a resurgence of rice smuggling into the country since the borders were opened in 2021. He called on the incoming president to reposition the Nigerian Customs Service and reorganize Nigeria's current border surveillance system to enable the NCS and other security agencies at the borders to be more effective in halting the smuggling of rice into the country. We'll be looking at the impact of smuggling on the rice processing sector in Nigeria. Also coming up, in April 2022, President Mohamed Buhari said his government had done so much to create an enabling environment for micro, small and medium-scale enterprises, MSMEs, to thrive. He said this to emphasize the importance of MSMEs to the country's economy. We'll be looking at how easy or difficult it is for SMEs to get funding. A business insight starts right now. I am Justin Akadonye. Welcome back. Now, let's uh, now take a major roundup of business headlines. We'll begin with the uh, capital market. Now, Nigerian equities markets closed the month of January 2023 in the green zone to open the Q1 2023 on a bullish note as market sentiment remained positive as against the plus 7.53% uptick recorded in the month of December last year. The NGX uh, ASI firmed up further by minus 4.82% in February 2023, while the benchmark indicator declined by minus minus 2.82% in March 2023. Now, quarter and quarter, the NGX ASI grew by 5.82% in the first quarter of this year, as against plus 9.95% growth in the first quarter of last year. Well, moving on now, according to the National Bureau of Statistics, NBS, the average retail price and premium motor spirit PMS paid by customers or consumers in Nigeria for the month of March 2023 was 264 naira 29 kaba. This was a 42.63% increase from the corresponding period of March 2022, which was 185 naira 30 kaba. It recorded that 20 or 0 0.20 percent growth retail price increase from February 2023, which was 263 naira 76 kaba. On the state by state analysis, Emo State had the highest average retail price for premium motor spirit with 332 naira 67 kaba, followed by Taraba State with 330 naira and Borono State with 324 naira. 55 cover. A Bainer State recorded the lowest average retail price for premium motor spirit was 195 naira, followed by Plateau State with 196 naira 79 cover, and Nasarawa State with 197 naira 50 cover. Now, Credit Suisse says 61 billion Swiss francs in assets left the bank in the first quarter and that outflows were continuing underscoring the challenge faced by UBS Group in rescuing its rival. Now, customer deposits declined by 67 billion francs in the quarter, and the bank noted that many matured time deposits had not been renewed. Now, the net asset outflow followed 110.5 billion francs pulled by clients from the bank in the fourth quarter. The 167-year-old bank reported results for what is likely to be the last time as its state engineered marriage with UBS is expected to be soon. And that's the roundup of business um, headlines. So we'll be back with more to talk about on rice smuggling in a moment. Do join us again. <laughs> 